There we well go. Well done, here we yeah, go here. Uh, I said $50 for one bottle. Oh, <laughs> Again, no, I don't like Chardon. <laughs> <laughs> Bad week to be me. Back at it again with Blind Wine Tasting. In case you don't know what we do here, we blind taste a bunch of wines, tell you how good we think it is, how much it costs, and how much we'd like to buy of it without any idea of what it is, and then we find out later. And just to kind of give an idea of what we think these wines are like and how much we enjoy them. Uh, we've let our cameraman, Lockie, go down the road to our local bottle shop, East End Cellars, pick six wines and make an absolute fool of himself by opening wines terribly and pouring them over the ground. Uh, so we're really keen to try what's left of them that's not on the ground. Uh, so without further ado, let's go. Alrighty, as Robert Baratheon said to the Lannister cousin, more wine! All right, let's get it. All right, now this has happened several times on the show where I've been like, look, he slipped in a sparkling wine, and then it's not a sparkling, this is a fucking sparkling wine, because I heard him spill it when he opened the bottle, because he's a pleb who doesn't know how to open a bottle of sparkling wine. It is a white wine. Uh, with a little bit of an amber colour. Lockie's clearly done for the day and wants to get us a little bit intoxicated because that is the biggest pour of wine I've ever seen. This is not RSA. That kind of tastes like grape juice mixed with a little bit of cardboard. Um, not that that's necessarily the worst thing in the world, but um, quite often people hear cardboard and they think that's not yummy. Holy shit, that's a banger. That's fun. I like this. It's crystal clear, really well handled, you know, amazing uh, autolytics, but still fresh enough. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's uh, of exceptional uh, next level blowing my mind uh, quality, but um, there is a lusciousness on the palate that tells me that it's probably seen a little bit of a dosage. Pretty confident, sparkling. It's fucking excellent. Autolytics are absolutely incredible. That kind of nutty, oxidative thing is just absolutely fantastic. It's really nice, bright and tropical, and that flinty minerality, that great like drive is fucking excellent. I'm really into this. This could go a long time. This could be drunk right now. I think this is a really, really excellent style of wine. I could drink a bucket of this. Uh, I expect this to be rather expensive. All right, so moving on to the second wine, we have another white wine, green highlights, crystal clear, clarity and brilliant. Oof. Now if that's not dope Chardonnay, I don't know what is. Bit of a yellowish hue to it, uh, a little bit of hair floating through it, but that's probably not the winemaker's intention. This is Chardonnay. Have you got six Chardonnays here, Lockie? Is that what you've done? This, is, this smells like epic Chardonnay, really. Oh, hell yeah. Someone's thrown the oak budget out. Yeah, that's oak, that's ball of oak. Uh, I reckon that's gonna be slightly more expensive. I reckon that's probably gonna be around the $50 mark. And if that's not Chardonnay, I'll eat my hat, which I'm not wearing today, which is very clever by me. Um, damn, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. I'm dropping, yes, $65 a bottle and grabbing cold bottles of that because that's just like an absolutely class act Chardonnay, uh, head and shoulders above the rest, potentially Margaret River, sickness defined. Yeah, that feels Australian. It's definitely got that kind of like banana-y, estery quality, estery quality that reminds me a lot of like Adelaide Hills Chardonnay, some cooler climate Australian Chardonnays. Um, really great oak, really great acid, really good leaves work. Um, it's a little bit bitter, but I think that's due to the, um, the batonage here. I think it's fantastic. It's a really well orchestrated wine. Wine number three. It's gonna be a Chardonnay. Could be a fucking Chardonnay as well, you dog. That smells like really nice, highly aromatic uh, Gewurz Travener or uh, other aromatic variety, but definitely jumping out of the glass. Yeah, honestly, this is this is one I like to see. I need to see a bit colder. It could be epic. It's just kind of sitting really like uncomfortable. I expect it to be a really good German Riesling. Minerality, it's floral. Um, but it's just not showing those kind of like pristine citrus characteristics that you see a lot at cooler temperatures. Tasting notes for this week, or Chardonnays. I think the game is which one's cheap and which one's expensive. I reckon the last one was more expensive than this one, but this could be my downfall. I would drop 40 bucks a bottle. I think it's a really good example. Uh, maybe less. Let's go Let's go 35. Uh, I think it's a really good example of, of uh, the variety and the style. I'd probably grab three bottles only because the complexity on the palate and the lower acidity, which is normal. It is very normal for this grape variety. It's very normal, I think, in this wine. I'm just looking for a little bit more acid, a little bit more oomph and tightness and tension and coiledness to it, but uh, which I don't really get here. I like that one a lot more. Um, it's a lot more 
subtle with its use of oak. It's still definitely there, but it doesn't just taste like, yeah, it doesn't taste like you've got a mouthful of wood. What I really like in a Chardonnay is butter. And there hasn't been heaps of butter in these first two that we've had. Really cool. Shows all the bones of something great. Just need to see that with a lower centigrade temperature with the juice. But overall, very interesting. Yum, yum, yum. Line number four. Obviously it's Chardonnay. No need to question that. It's definitely a Chardonnay. You have done this, haven't you? But this here, we've got another one with green highlights telling me that it's sitting on that sort of under ripey uh, side of the spectrum or come from a very cool climate. I cannot pick pretty much anything up here. It's a bit floral on the nose, um, a bit banana -y. If wine number two, the one that was really oaky, was sort of like traditional old European wood, this one is more like Aussie red gum sort of oak. There's a little bit more sort of like heat to the wood that's in there, um, which is not a thing, but it's what it tastes like. Look, I'm convinced that it's like a, a Fiano. If it's not, I'd be fascinated to know what it is. For this reason, I'm gonna be dropping around about $38 a bottle of it, and I want 12, because I love textural wines like this. It's slippery on the palate. It just has this wonderful waxy texture that actually, funnily enough, counters the medium to low acidity that leaves you salivating, kind of wanting more. Particularly exciting here. It's got some minerality, it's got some texture, it's got some maybe a little bit of residual. The acid's like nothing too over the top. I'm curious, I want two bottles because I have no idea what this is because I can't really taste anything and I'm like not really, I just want to see this at multiple temperatures and aged or chilled or something like that because maybe after the onslaught of flavor, this doesn't show all that much. Wine number five, green highlights, white wine. We know what we're doing here, let's have a sniff. Oh, okay, that's, that's interesting. This is, this is intriguing. Uh, anyways, this smells like really good Chardonnay. It's a bit grassy and flint, like a bit more herbaceous. Doesn't smell like Chardonnay. Could be wrong. Oh, butter. Yeah, it's Chardonnay, sick. This is the one I'm after. Six bottles. I don't actually don't think this is really high quality oak integrated into the wine. Uh, it is what we would call in the industry, chippy. Uh, there is there is uh, quite a large amount of oak here and it's, uh, and it's sticking out and it's smelling like pencil shavings which probably leads me more towards things like American oak, more so than French oak, which I firmly believe is what was used on wine number two. That is really, really... Are all of these, these, are these all Chardonnay? I think you, I see what you've done here. Okay, okay. I think, I think you're, we're on here. I think you've done these all Chardonnays. Mm. Like it smells like really expensive vanilla ice cream sort of thing. But like to the point where you smell it and you're like, is this even vanilla or is it something completely else? What is, what have you given us? I would pay $10 a bottle for that. I have no idea what this wine is. I don't think it's high quality. I think there's something going on here. I haven't encountered a wine like that for a little while. Very, very oaky and I was expecting it to be buttery and voluptuous on the palate. Instead, I was greeted with incredibly racy high acidity. The acid's the winner here. It is a great, great acid. Maybe not my favorite wine so far, but it's up there. I'm still gonna grab, I'm gonna grab nine bottles. Weird number, but nine bottles. Last wine, let's have a look here. Another white wine, all white wines this week. Which is actually not bad, because I actually at the moment I'm preferring whites uh, over reds. I'm not sure about you guys. Put in the comments below, what do you prefer? White, red, what's it like? What's what's the weather like where you guys are? And what are you drinking? We want to know. And a curveball, maybe this will be a Riesling. No, I'm sticking with Chardonnay. Um, Great acid, again. Uh, not that kind of MLF component that was on the the last wine. There's a nice like nutty, mealy, savory thing. This could be like a, maybe like a petit chablis or something like that. Something without too much complexity and it feels very stainless steel orientated. Let's crack with that. It's a little bit more lemony than the last few, but it, it so all the other ones we've been talking about like, wow, this is really oaky. Wow, this is really buttery. This sort of sits in the middle of all of it, which is making me think it's probably relatively inexpensive because it's not really dabbling in any one of those fields. But then again, it could be really well made and does a little bit of everything. It could be really expensive and that's the game. I'm gonna say, nah, this is the cheap one. This the bargain one, 28 bucks. You can, there's also that, that quite uh, green vegetal nose that gives it away. So I would say 15 bucks. I'd buy one bottle um, if I was camping. Um, and I think it is also very cheap Riesling. Uh, we shall see, we shall see. It's quite quite a phenolic um, sort of right thing. Uh, because this will appear, this is a good cannon fodder 
why it absolutely pleased my dad, it pleases me, could please my partner, could please my mother, could please my uncle. It, like it's it's a very pleasing wine. It's a very democratic wine. Anything but Chardonnay, but it will drink some Chablis. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really good fun. Alrighty. <laughs> so we so. six white wines in front of us. Yeah. Did we see a theme? I I oh was there a theme? I feel like there's a theme. I reckon there's a theme here. Yeah, after that's I, interesting. After I tasted the second one, I wrote Chardonnay for all of them. Yeah, I reckon that they definitely could be, but I, I think there's also like a high quality, low quality thing going on here because there's yeah. definitely there's definitely wines for me that were like, wow, that's actually really impressive. And then after there's others that are like really not impressive. Yeah, I think it. I think we've just we're gone through the spectrum of Chardonnay. That's my gut instinct mm. here. Number one, cracker, cracker, Sparkler. Ben, yeah. Belter, excellent, yeah. excellent champagne. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I wanted a dozen. I thought this yeah. would probably be about ninety-five dollars a bottle. Yeah. I uh, gave it a big old meh, $35 for one bottle. <laughs> Rough. I went 50 for 12. Mm. What do we got? Mm -hmm. there, yeah. there. Champagne. Go. Never on that's champagne prices. Champagne Entry prices. level champagne prices. Ooh, what Blanc de Blanc. Champagne Village. Uh, is that Jose? Jose Don't. Don't. Jose um, Don't. Brute. Blanc de Blancs. Yeah, it, it tasted a little bit sweeter than cool. uh, normal. Yep, uh, it's exactly what it says on the bottle. It's really good that. Really good champagne. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's nothing really too much to write home about. Uh, get it. Get if you like champagne, that's definitely one to grab. Um, yeah, there's not really too much else to say. I don't like champagne. Uh, Blanc de Blanc as well. Yeah, 100% Chardonnay. 100% Chardonnay. To the next one. Yeah. If you want to explain really fucking good, expensive, got budget to make a really goddamn good Chardonnay, this is it. Yeah. Oh my god, that smells like a bonfire now. It's that's so wild. good. It's yeah. so good. I picked Margs. Uh, Chardonnay of the highest order. All about this wine. What do we got? Yeah, I loved it. That is a That's bargain. That's excellent value. That is a bargain. That is fantastic. Hey! Oh! Yeah. He, should, he should get the, the hat for that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, gonna, I'm giving Noah the hat for this. Yeah, yeah. Quite, close enough. Close enough. It's not a Yatana, but, but it it's not too And we had, did have it on the show. We have reviewed this before. Yeah, in the Australian um, tasting. Hey. Yeah, yeah and, we, that, uh, and it did show up very well. Yeah, we loved it then. We love it again now. Uh, honestly, pound for pound, that is one of the better value Chardonnays yeah. you can get in Australia. That is oh, actually I'm really 45. fucking good. And we did that. So we originally tasted that not blind. No. Yep. And, and we were like, yeah, this is probably worth the money, maybe a little bit cheaper. We're tasting it blind. We're going out, yeah, 65 bucks and 12. It's coming in yeah. for cool yeah. 45. Yeah. So this next one you think is Chardonnay because I struggled to see this. As My Chardonnay. initial gut feeling was Riesling. Um, yeah. I thought it was residual. Um, it was incredibly textural. But yeah, honestly, it's one of those ones at the temperature, it's really hard to pick up. Yeah, I feel like it. And now tasting the rest of them. I'm thinking this is Chardonnay. Yeah, I, I was playing the man, not the ball. Like, if I hadn't thought they were all Chardonnays, I wouldn't taste this as Chardonnay. But given I'm thinking, these are all Chardonnays, I was looking for things. And I think yeah. there's a little bit of oak on the nose. What is wait, this one? Wait, how many? I want three bottles, 35. I went six bottles, 75. Far out. I was thinking German, German Riesling. Three bottles, 40. Hey, he's back. We're on here. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this Chardonnay for real? Oh, it's entry level. Whoa. That's cheaper. Whoa. That's cheaper. That looks more than 40 bucks. That That's really cheap. But equally, to be honest, if you gave that to me and said, hey, here's, I brought a bottle of Burgundy, my expectations would be here. Yeah. And delivered would be here. Now, considering there is $5 difference between these two wines. Yeah, why are you, mm, why are you even buying it? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Sorry. I'm not, not a fan. Not yeah, a fan. No, I agree. I agree. If you're going to buy nah. Burgundy, for, buy fucking Burgundy. Yeah. Um, you can get far better um, value wines. Australian made. Yeah, this is always my thing. If you're gonna do it, absolutely do it. Like send it. Get get Probably. to get to a crew, get to like 120 bucks. Because other than that, you may as well just drink local Chardonnay, to be honest. Yeah, if you like Chardonnay, don't get that one. Get this one. Yeah, agreed. Uh cool. I'd get this one, but that's because I don't like Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I was I, I swear to God, smelt it and I was like skinsy fiano. I was like like it had all the things of a textual variety on skins. I went 38 bucks for 12. Yeah, well, wow, I Fiano. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, would, I would buy 12 Chardonnay that tastes like a Fiano as That's well. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> as long as it's 38 bucks. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Where Lucky. were you at? Uh, two for 32. Two for 32. Lucky. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That is an interesting price for it's a Chardonnay. Expensive. It's expensive. That looks like Fiano. Fiano. Could be another burger. Whoa! Oh, oh, hey, oh. Whoa! Yeah, what wicked. the hell? Yeah, yeah, wicked. Oh, really, 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 really old oak. Yeah, extremely. Wow, that is. I've That's got. Really I, old I oak. bought six bottles of this at home, and I've been drinking shitloads of it because I think it's fantastic. But could be some variation. It's. So, it's I mean, yeah, I get it. It's got that banana estery thing, but yeah, I just, 
Maybe a bottle bowler variation. It's just not what I. It or sticks out of my head. He's putting Fiano in his Chardonnay. Stop saying that we whatever know. you think is, they just slipped in there we, and not put on the lane. We know this number five. Shit. Butter, butter, butter. Dude, what are you talking about? This is one of the lineup. This no, is one of the lineup. It was fucking horrid. <laughs> it was horrid. <laughs> don't you like butter? No, no, I don't like pencil shavings. Yuck. That was quite Yeah, I almost broke that, yeah, almost broke that really glass. Quite, Sorry. You know, well yeah. done. Six for 60. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. All right, what do we got? Jesus, I've just made someone quite upset. Bargain. I've made someone quite upset. What is that? Oh, oh spider, spider bill. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm not into it. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Is this the part where you say this is one of the nicest guys in the wine industry? And he is legitimately look. very nice. <laughs> and he actually makes my favourite Dolcetto. He makes as well. the best Dolcetto in Australia. Yeah, yeah really? Hands down. Yep. Yeah, he's a really, really good winemaker. But I'm just, I'm not into that. I'm not sure what's going on with the oak. I'm not sure what's going on with the acidity, but it's disjointed for me. I like yeah. it. It's good. Yeah, I was, I was here and there. I, I liked it when I first tried it. When I came back in here, it looked, didn't look as quite as sharp. I just prefer that to hell woody. Like to me, that doesn't taste super woody. That tastes super buttery. Like that's the thing that my palate picks up. It's like creamy and like almost vanilla-y sort of shit. Cool story. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and number six. Uh, yeah, this, I think this is pretty straight up the middle. Uh, I wanted six bottles for forty dollars here. But yeah, I reckon that's just cheap, cheap shavers or something like that. Twenty-eight bucks, three bottles I had. I had six bottles for forty. Can uh, butter. I had fifteen dollars in one bottle. Nice. Whoa. Okay. What is here, this? Oh, what the Chablis. Hell? Chablis. Wow. Yeah. Man, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, damn. I, I would not be happy. Yeah, neither would I. Uh, I've had his Premier Career stuff, and I've, I've had this before, Yeah. and it looks a bit better, um, but I've had his Premier Career stuff, and it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, but yeah, again, if you're going to spend the money, spend the money. What's going on, man? What's going on? <laughs> Penfolds is what's going on, baby. That's the way oh, of the future. Pen. It also goes to show like, people out there that are like, I don't like Chardonnay. It's just you haven't found the right one. Spectrum, absolute spectrum. Of yeah, that is there. that is bonkers. Even even us who you know we spend a lot of time tasting wine, evaluating wine. Even I'm guessing entirely All different grape place, varieties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and still fervently, I like don't understand how these are Chardonnay. That's that's what we're here to say. Like as much as we will celebrate fucking great champagne and you know mm. artisan Adler who was winemakers, fucking Penfolds just. Makes really good wine. That 311's cracker. Yeah, I think we've uh, clearly made ourselves look like a bunch of fools this this week. Or who knows? Maybe it's just the the man of the day. We we never really know. But that was a really cool way to try six Chardonnays, the most commonly said variety on this bloody show. Thanks, Henry. Can't deny. Um, and yeah, that was really good fun. And let's see what you guys think. Bye. Bye. Bye.